it seemed like John, he was about to be back. Now he's out. Kyle Shanahan actually said on Wednesday that they thought he might be back to play last week, or I guess pre by um, Rams in the Rams game. So he thought this is when he was talking yesterday, pre practice, obviously. He said, you know, uh, he, I just assume he'll be much closer today than he was a week and a half ago. And then he tore his Achilles tendon in practice, same knee that he had the ACL repaired on. He'd previously torn the other ACL and popped the other Achilles. And um, uh, it's it all it sucks for the guy, first and foremost. I think more than the Niners who clearly could have used him but didn't have to have him. Uh, he was going to provide some depth for them, but for the individual who, I mean, has just been through so much. And we've seen him, John. When he plays, he's a good player. I vividly remember, I think, his rookie year when the Chargers drafted him, and he was good. Maybe a second year because he might have got hurt as a rookie. I mean, his injury started pretty early. Him, maybe, I, I know he picked them off once. He might have had two picks in the game against the Raiders. He was fucking awesome. And it was clear, like, this guy is really, really talented. Think about this. The 49ers keep giving this guy or keeping him around. Beside the one year where he played 13 games in 2020, the year they had a bunch of injuries, he's been on the team four years. So you remove that one year. In the other three years, he's played two games. And in those two games, wow. had two ACL tears. Think about that. Actually, one might have been an Achilles. I can't even keep up. The How Achilles many came before the last ACL tear. How many pro athletes in the history of basketball, baseball, or football, or any just, you can do track, in their lives have torn both ACLs and both Achilles? I would imagine it's a pretty short list. At, like, the highest level, you know, professional. I yeah. think this happened to humans, but he, he's got to be on the short. If you just went NFL only, how many guys have to torn both ACLs and both Achilles? It's one. We've seen guys tear the ACL in the same knee twice, right? Or right. the Achilles pops again. Right. I, or an Achilles after an ACL, right? Like Quite getting well. hurt makes you more likely to get hurt again, especially as you're not a, before you're hundred percent and you're maybe compensating a little, whatever. Well, imagine if you just looked at clay Thompson right now and said, you're going to tear your other ACL and your other Achilles coming up sometime. He'd yeah. be like, fuck me. I'm done. I, I quit life. Can you imagine this guy? A lot of respect for his mental resilience. I know. And it might be too soon for him to decide if he's maybe, you know, I don't know. Do you come back again from all of this? Maybe he's only 31. That's the thing. But holy shit. And and I think he's had other, like he had an ankle injury. He had a labrum injury. It's not just those injuries. But, you know, once upon a time, one of the four injuries that he had here ended a career, right? If this was 1982, he would have been done four injuries ago. I know. So Doesn't it speak you. to how much this guy tries, like clearly oh. likes playing football. <laughs> I mean, most guys probably would have tapped out. And, and and to me, I I don't know why I'm assuming this. It does just feel like it's over. Like there comes to a point where you just can't, right? Part, because part of what he hangs his hat on, guy, as a smaller player, was explosion, movement. Like he's not a tall corner. His was of being a freak athlete. I, I knowing nothing, it wouldn't shock me if he tried one more time because yeah. he's needs to have like this has to get repaired either way, and he's gonna have to rehab it either way, right? There is probably a difference of NFL rehab and like human rehab, I would guess. Definitely. Right? No, you're right. You're right. But like I mean what did he make Jeremiah tore his Achilles playing uh, basketball and worked for the NFL network? I like does his rehab <laughs> you know. Yeah, that's true. Cause I mean luck tapped out because he just couldn't go through the monotony of it anymore, right? And that was like two injuries. Yeah. This guy's probably listened to a lot of music and podcasts over the years. Fuck. <laughs> but I mean, no, you're right. But it wouldn't, I don't know. It just, it, he's come back from this many. Why would I start yeah, I, this I the last one? I, yeah. And he's, what does he make? Has he, he, he got paid this year, right? The Niners signed him this year. Make a million bucks or whatever. Now, now will, will he get signed to rehab it? You know, probably not. He'll probably have to do that on his own time. Well, he's going to get waived. You know, they're going to waive him injured so they can use his spot, you know, next week. Oh, that's true. I guess so. This the contract he is currently under was the contract he was on when he got hurt. Yeah. Like this, his contract for 838, the league minimum at his age. For a guy that's got injured a lot, like it really sucks. 
he made $25 million. One thing that, I mean, that he got to play on his fifth year option. And in 2021 guy, the 49ers, he made $5.2 million last year after having that really good season in 20. And then obviously towards ACL, what was it like week one or I think it was week one in tw- in 21. Uh, AK 49er on the stream says with Fred out, what are the chances Richard Sherman leaves Amazon and joins the Niners for the stretch run? Zero. I mean, remember he came back for the box and he got hurt in the first game back, right? Didn't he hurt his groin? Uh, yeah. So I remember I thought he did. He tweaked something in like his first or second game back for the box. Well, remember his last year for San Francisco, he was injured. Yeah. I think it's over. I, I, I remember him tweet him like podcasting. I saw a clip saying like, never say never, but I mean, I've still work out, but it's not the same. Right. Right. 